And welcome back, people. I'm in such a good mood today. Because today's my day off. Well, I I took a day off to play this game a lot. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> I'm basically neglecting work just to play this game right now, which is uh, both good and bad. Okay, so I did say last episode that I was gonna go explore the wreck at 500 meters and also relocate my base. But then I took a look at my notes. And I did write that I discovered a wreck 570 meters north-northeast of the life pod. So I may actually go and explore that first. Um, but before I do, I just wanted to craft a couple of things. No, I want to empty my inventory here just to make it a bit more clean and uh, ready to be filled up with potential valuables. So first off... Let's head to the life pod. Oh, man. I'm so excited. I'm going to play this game all day today. <laughs> it's going to be great. I At least I hope it was the life pod. It could have been 570 meters north-northeast of my base. I don't quite remember. It's been a day since I last played. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. Also, what is that thing I'm trying to build in the top right there? Hold on. I pinned something last time. Graph trap. Uses artificial gravity to attract light objects and small creatures. Definitely have to craft that. And the other one was a decoy. Potentially useful against big predators. I'm gonna guess. Oh man, this game is so beautiful. Just look at this. forget I have headlights. Hey, man. All right. All right, all right. So, 500 and... So, it used to be 570 meters south-southwest, but because that was from that position, it has to be north-northeast now. So, north-northeast. About... I seem to remember something like that. I did write 275 degrees... In this case, it's 45 degrees. Not quite 45. It's more like 30. 570 meters. Okay. I keep going this way. Sorry about that. Ah! I hate that sound, man. I've got my coffee here. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. And I'm already playing games. It feels amazing. Mm. What the fuck is that? Yo, that's new. Is it not? Hold on, let me get my stasis rifle out. I don't trust this. And maybe the propulsion cannon as well. No, I can leave that here. How far am I away? 409 meters? Oh god. I really want to scan it. Hold on, let me let me save the game. <laughs> Excuse me. Bone shark. Are you coming after me? Oh god, it's not it doesn't do anything to me. It looks cool. A large and powerful predator that lives in small groups and fiercely defends its hunting grounds. Doesn't seem that fierce yet. Thickly armored exoskeleton. Suggests defensive adaptation either to larger predators or in-species aggression. Marked similarity to the segmented exoskeleton of the sand shark, suggesting a relatively recent common ancestor. Yeah, I was about to say, the, I thought it was a sand shark at first. But then upon further inspection, it was quite different. It, way bigger as well. Large eyeballs. Yeah? Consistent with high light sensitivity, likely for hunting of luminescent prey in low-light environments. But you don't need a lot of light sensitivity to see luminescent prey. In, especially in low-light environments. Hmm. It's generally slow and unresponsive as a means of energy conservation. They will act with uncom uncompromising speed and aggression against any threat to their territory. Hmm. 
All right. Assessment avoid. May be distracted by light sources. Ooh. That's good to know. Do I have a flare on me? I don't. Oh my god, it's getting deep down there. That scares me. Okay, we're 400 meters away, so we need about 200 meters more. I'm not sure I trust my navigational skills here. Maybe I fucked up the compass heading. Oh god, it's deep! No, I, there's no way I was here. Ah! Okay, I'm sorry. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, we're not going- Ah! It's coming for me! They're all coming! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to intrude on your hunting grounds. Fuck, where was this wreck? Ah, oh, wait a minute. I do remember... The wreck was close to life part... 6. I think. And life part 6 was 400 meters away from life part 4. And life part 4 was close to the aurora. Hold on. Whoa. Oh my god, look at the, the aurora. It's completely destroyed. The whole front is missing. Uh, I feel like I'm just aimlessly wandering right now. Okay, let me try and see if I can find life part 4 again. It wasn't in here, was it? 317. Camera drone, let me disable that. Damn it. Okay. Where was this life pod? It was somewhere close to... I do remember the area it was in. I almost just left the ship and I was on my way back to the life pod. That's what I remember. Let's see if my backtrack... Dude, if I actually end up finding this wreck this way, I'm gonna be... So happy about my navigational skills. And, uh... Yeah. Okay, we're soon there. I'm just look. The life pod was on the surface, so it should be easy to spot. Oh! I think I see it. There it is! Uh... Doot doot. Okay, this is life part four, and I wrote here on my notes, life part six is at 100 meters, 400 meters west-northwest of life part four. West-northwest. Like this way, at 100 meters. So I go this way, and I do remember it was in some tall red grass. Oh yeah, I remember this now too. I think it's right over here where my where my cursor is. Hey, sand shark. Man, sand sand sharks are not that scary anymore. I see it now. But the bone sharks, man, they are something else. Life pot six, and there's the wreck. Hell yeah. I'm a goddamn god. There it is. Ah! Okay, man. Let's let's check it out. Metal salve. Oh, the music is so good. Ah. Oh. What do we have in here? Scanner room fragment. I already have that. Uh-oh. This is the one that shoots things. Ah! Get away from me. Oh man, I have so much oxygen. I can stay down here forever. Another scanner room fragment. I kind of just want to scan it. Just for completeness sake, so I don't keep confusing myself later when I see another part. I mean, I can't just throw out the titanium, I guess. Worst case. I see things in there. Definitely going inside of there. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. It's time. More lore? 
This is part of the Aurora, for sure. Oh, there's a hole over there, too. I could have entered through. And, and here. Wow. What is that? Composite plant pot? Chic plant pot? <laughs> Man. Wait, what's that? Light stick fragment. Hold on, what is this? A mobile battery powered LED light, which provides low level lighting in a 360 degree area and can be attached to most surfaces. That seems kind of useful. In the caves, put down a put down a bunch of light sticks. Seek fluid intake. No, you seek fluid intake. Actually, do I have fluid to take in? No fluid. Shit. That's actually bad. Oh, it's so dark. Basic plant pot. I'm getting all the pots. Plant shelf! My home is gonna be so cool when I'm done. But I have to relocate it to a better place first before I start interior decorating it. Uh, I need a cutter for that. Please tell me I brought it. I did. Yes. Ah, oh, here we go. Dude, I've been down here on one tank so far. And I've almost explored the whole ship. How amazing is that? Ooh. What? Lightweight, high capacity tank? See, how come I cannot open this one? Ooh. What was that sound? Okay, I have to get out oxygen. Time is of the essence. Okay, there's actually an entrance right here. That's easy. And I am in the back, it seems. Let me go grab some. Oh, what is this music? Oh! What is this? An elevator shaft. Vehicle upgrade console. What? Sure, I'll take the vehicle upgrade console. There's also something over here. Nope, can't get through there. Maybe that was it. Oh my god, I'm so glad I went back to this wreck. Wow. I got a bunch of things, man. I got some kind of light tank. How dare you command me. Scanner room, I have it. Man, scanner room everywhere here. Light stick? Did I need multiple pieces of this? Maybe I did. Actually, I'm not sure. Holy shit! Spade fish? You look cool! Oh my god, it has an eye on the top! What would be the evolutionary advantage of that? Let me just think before reading this. Maybe if it swims around on the ocean floor, it can spot 
predators from above coming diving down on them, trying to eat them. A medium-sized herbivore found in deeper waters. Yeah. It has a single eye. Observed swimming near to the seabed from where it can keep its eye on predators in the water above it. Who just called that? I mean, not that it's very impressive or anything, but I feel good about it, okay? It has a mottled green coloration. Commonly encountered in plant-rich environments, the spadefish is well adapted to hide amongst the vegetation. Its behavior. Spadefish tend to move in loose shoals. What is a shoal? And despite their low speed, will take necessary measures to avoid confirmed predators. Assessment edible! Oh god. Where'd you go? I need to eat you! Man, that thing looks like it has a lot of calories in it. Okay. It's time to head back. To regenerate our supplies. And drink some water. I may prepare myself a bit for that. I need salt and I need those... Jesus. I need salt and I need... Um... Some coral tube for that. I see salt there. I already have some salt, don't I? I have one salt deposit. Let me grab another one. Um, sure. Man, look at look at this. The little piranha fish are eating the other ones. Look at these two. They're actually hunting each other. Hold on. Come with me. We're going on a journey, you and I. A journey into my stomach. Well, it's just you, not me. Ah! That... I really wish... I could turn that sound off. That's probably the thing that scared me the most in this game so far. It's the random bumping into things while I'm driving this thing. I brought my knife, didn't I? Good. I need some coral tube. Also, where is the... There. I was looking for my life pod. Oh god, my water is running out! Coral tube time! There. Let me cut you. Sure, that's fine. Go, 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 go. We are thirsty. Let me just quickly save. Uh, t -t 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 oh no, oh no. I need to make uh, bleach. More bleach. And then I need to make water. Ah, uh, drink it immediately. Oh my god. Oh, wait, did I have a water? Oh, I think I picked it up inside the wreck. I'm a dumbass. I forgot about Vital that. Let me see how, how many calories this spade fish has. 23? Hmm. Decent size, but salty. I'll take it. Uh, what, what, what was that? What was that? Oh, another spade fish. I'll eat you. I'll eat another spade fish. Nice. Nice. Let me grab that. And use it. And save the game. Okay. Perfect. What did I have in here? Acid mushroom spores. It seems like I can actually plant things in this game. Man, I'm gonna have a whole room in my base dedicated to planting things. I wanna cultivate and manipulate. And I wanna take over this entire planet. That escalated a bit, I know, but it is what it is. Glass and battery. I have to make light sticks. Actually, I wanna make a bunch of things. I wanna make the creature decoy now. I wanna make the graph trap and light stick. What else do I need to make? What have I not made yet? Prawn suit, of course. Oh my god, what is all this? 
Holy shit, wait a minute. Enhances safe diving depth. I think I have this one. Hull reinforcement preemptively hardens the chassis before collision, eliminating damage under normal conditions. Seamoth slash prawn compatible. Engine efficiency? Ah, okay. Storage module! A small storage locker! Oh my god! I need to make that. Seamoth solar charger? Perimeter defense system? Oh! Torpedo system? A standard payload delivery system adapted to fire torpedoes. And a sonar. Oh. Oh my god. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. This is what I've been training for. Uh, I need to go back to my base. Uh, and on my way there, I will try to find... Some ingredients to craft. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Hold on, I need to repair this thing first. Let's get out our repair thingy. Repair you. Man, it was almost dead. There. How dare you poop on me? Okay, okay. Let me see here. I have titanium. I need... Um... Silver, I need a battery I have. I need copper ore. That one is a little tricky because it's based on RNG. I have to find, uh, what is it called? These, some kind of deposit. Limestone, that's it. Let me see if I can find more. Also, I need a glass. Uh. Hello, bo hey boys. Uh oh. I thought I had my stasis rifle equipped. I didn't. <laughs> I wanted to try and stasis them. Uh, man, it feels like this guy's following me, pooping, pooping everywhere. Ow. Okay, let me look for those copper deposits, limestone deposits. God, I, I love the feeling of slowly moving at the bottom of the sea, man. It's such a cool feeling. Silver, yeah. That's what I need. Oh, man, there's something down here. Hold on, what's all this? Oh, here we go. Oh, I need all of this. Silver. Cave systems nearby, yeah. Definitely. Quartz, I'll need it. Copper, yes, sir. Oh, this game is so pretty. There's so many here. This is like fucking Schlaraffenland. Gotta be careful of these. They poisoned me, even though their description says they're electrical, which is a little puzzling. Um, where's my thingy? There. Look at these. Stealing metal. Now, I wonder what they were grinding their teeth on before the Aurora crashed. I mean, they, they must be having a field day right now. Maybe just the deposits like these, maybe limestone, you know? Oh, more copper. That's what I need. We have enough space. Two slots left. What else did I need? I need more silver for sure. I love when uh, when the bubbles come out of my mask. I don't know why, but the sound of it and the way it's animated and the way it looks really makes, really sells it, you know, that I'm underwater and exploring down here. 
I like it a lot. Oh, here we go. Titanium? Don't need that. I have a lot of it. Okay, come on. Give me one more copper. Yes! Perfetto. As an Italian would say. Look, it's pooping on me whenever I'm close. But I did remember reading it was some kind of... Uh... Oh, no, wait. It's this way. It was some kind of defensive mechanism. Gasopods. Totally wearing gas masks. You can't tell me otherwise. And I've been doing all of this right now on one tank. How amazing is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going already. I'm going. Let's go back. Oh, man. As soon as lunchtime hits, I'm, I think I'm gonna... I may order food today, man. I feel naughty, you know? Order a nice pizza or... Oh, maybe some Chinese. Whatever. I'm, I'm feeling good, man. And, and it, of course, I need an energy drink. I need that shit. I'm kind of addicted to those lately. Do any of you know the, the feeling, or am I really, really naughty <laughs> with energy drinks? Oh my god, I'm addicted for sure. Also drinking coffee now. Maybe it's just caffeine in general, you know? I like it. I like it. Now, time to craft! Welcome aboard, Captain. I need to make a wiring kit. And I need to make glass. And I... Okay, I'm not gonna do that again. I'm gonna need a battery. Let me take the lowest one. That one. Hold on, I can actually exchange it. Let's, let's be smart about this. Like that. And then I will use the one I have in my inventory now to craft the light source. Hold on. Where's the light source? Light stick. I thought for a second I had to build it with my base builder tool. Light stick. I have it. I've got it. Copper wire? No. No. Standard oat? No. Creature decoy. Times three. Let's make it. Oh my god, it's big. Looks like a missile. It actually, it looks like a probe. You know, it actually looks like the little thing from the Matrix. The one that goes into this guy's stomach. And wiggles around before it becomes organic. Do you know what I mean? With the little thingies on the bottom, it looks exactly like it. A grab trap. Let me grab another battery. This one. Let me do the little trick. Like that. And let's make a grab trap. Whatever that is. Inventory full. Shit. Uh, three creature decoys. Yeah, this base is, is horrendous. I need to have more management with my lockers. I wanna... Oh my god, listen to this. I'm gonna make lockers. And I'm gonna call one of them uh, titanium. You know, and only put titanium in there. And I'm gonna have a silver locker and a gold locker. All of it. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, um... Put some of this in here. Like that. There we go. So what does this do? Uses artificial gravity to attract light objects. Let me try it. <laughs> it's just a little ball. Oh, shit! Ah, you're fucked now, aren't you? Hold on. What do you want, huh? This is actually... Can I take it with me again? Oh, <gasps> Bro! <laughs> hey, where you going? It escaped! Hold on, hold on, I can even do... Oh my god, this is how I eat in the wild! Think about it. 
I carry one of these around. And I'm like, I'm hungry, bitches. I throw it in the water. All the fishes are gonna come. I do this. <laughs> I heat them up with that knife and then I eat them. Wait, are they slowly escaping? I wonder if this requires battery. I don't see a battery meter on it, so I don't think so. That is amazing. Dude, I'm starting to carry all these things around. It's too much inventory space. I'm starting to want to ditch the sea glide. It sounds a little crazy, but hear me out. I have my sea moth, right? That's going to be my number one fly long distance or, you know, go long distance. And then I just glide normally without the sea. Sorry, without the sea glide, I just swim. This one takes up a hell of a lot of spots. And also the propulsion cannon. Don't know how useful it is. On the water, at least. Um, okay. What else did I have? A light stick. Let me try that. Let me go down here. Let's say I'm in a cave right now. And I'm exploring shit. Let me put down a light stick. Oh! Awesome! Can I take it with me again? Oh, that's nice! I wish things w would stack in this game, in the inventory. Maybe that would be too OP. But man, imagine just carrying around 10 of these light sticks. Can I just in a death stick? Death stick? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm getting a little silly here. Uh, yep, you're coming for me. Can I trap you with this? Excuse me, sir. You're not into it. Let me stasis you. And knife you. Bam! Man, this must suck, huh? Wow, that was really effective. Poor shark! I feel bad about this now. Oh, okay. It's clipping. Okay, <laughs> I've been goofing around a while. Let me unpin all of these thingies, because they're annoying me, the way they're up there. What is the next thing I want to do? Let me look at my notes. Right. I want to go to the 500 meter wreck. So let's prepare a journey. Let me empty my inventory. I have another locker down here. Uh, nope. Click on that. Radiation helmet? Hmm, do I need it? Maybe. Power cell? Don't need it, I think. Creature decoy? Hmm. I'll bring the stasis rifle for sure. Maybe I'll leave the propulsion cannon. Let me try my little thing here where I leave this. For now. No, actually, it's been it's one of the best things I ever owned. I'm gonna bring it. Let's put in a bunch of rocks. Cyclops engine efficiency module. I feel like this is... I don't need this at all. I don't even have a Cyclops yet. Um, creature decoys. Maybe I'll only bring one of those. Air bladder for sure. For emergencies. Habitat builder. Maybe. No. I'm gonna leave it. Repair tool. I'm gonna leave the fish. Here's a question though. I know that when I cook fish, they go, old, they get old, like they decompose. What if I just leave these in here? This is an experiment now. I want to see if they're still just boomerangs when I come back. Okay, I think that's good. I am ready. I should bring some water if I have it. Maybe the Pathfinder tool actually. Okay, save the game. Go inside the thingy here. And then go to the, the proposed Degasi habitat. So, this was the place that... Uh, what was her name? Margaret Maida, the security personnel, suggested. Um, Paul Torgal initially suggested the area right underneath my base right now. But because of all the alien animals that are the ones who eat them, all the sea snakes and all that shit. 
it wasn't the best idea, even though there was a lot of minerals down there, which made Paul Torgel happy because he's into riches. I mean, he's rich, but he wants to be more rich. Classic story. But Margaret Maida seems to be the one really in charge here. Rough and tumble. And she's proposed a Degasi habitat at 500 meters. What was the reason for that? Let me see if I remember. It was something about... The reason for going further down was to find out why they were shut down or something, right? Because they suggest... Oh, here's another thing. I went to the Aurora, and it seemed that there was something on this planet that shut them down, right? I think the same exact thing happened to the Degasi that happened to the Aurora. I think the exact same thing. And Margaret Maida wanted to get to the bottom of that. Literally. She, wa she wanted to go to the bottom of the sea to get to the bottom of it. You know, figure out what the hell kind of mechanism shot them down. I still don't know what that mechanism is. A big gun? Or a fucking alien? Or maybe the planet itself? I don't know, man. I'm, s I'm actually really excited to find out what's going to happen with this. But... For now, let me go to that habitat. Welcome aboard, Captain. But hold on, 500 meters. My sea moth only goes to 300. Ooh, shit, this is exciting. Let me save. That means I have to park it and go down on foot. Or on fin, I should say. I should probably have brought some water. Oh well, I can make it. If I hurry. Thousand meters? It's not that far away. It's funny how I'm actually getting used to the moaning of the reef back. Oh god, it's deep. Like, I sometimes don't even notice that there's this huge grumble or rumble coming from above, you know? It's just background noise now. Look at these. Cave systems nearby. I wonder if the cave system on the left is the one they're signifying here. I'm talking about these creatures, by the way, if you're if you don't know what I'm talking about. Their presence indicate uh, cave systems. I read that when I scanned them. Ow! Oh my god, look how deep we're going. This is legitimately scary. Also, I'm just noticing. I only have 13 power in this. Ah, fuck it. We can do it. Oh god, look. The environment's completely different. We're getting so deep. Oh man. Sun rays are still hitting me. What is that? Looks like a thermal vent. Oh god, there's a cave there. Is that where where it's located? Down here? Ah! Oh! Hold on, hold your horses. Oh, there's a bunch of wrecks here. Yeah, that is deep. That is deep. Office chair. <laughs> okay. So this is another part of the Aurora. What's that? Prawn suit torpedo arm fragment? Brother. I am all for that. Another one. Oh my god, let me examine you. Prawn suit torpedo arm. Am I gonna be able to become a mech? That's bonkers. We got a radio. Doesn't do anything. Thermal plant.
It looks like a Dyson uh, Dyson air blower, a little bit like some futuristic version of it. The first rule of survival in hostile environments is to work with the resources av available. If it's 800 degrees outside and you're in danger of burning to death at any, at any moment, you may as well get some cheap, reliable energy out of it. Heck yeah, man, I support that. Converts heat energy into electricity. Always take thermometer readings before attempting installation. Core mechanisms are housed in a heat-resistant chassis, but are not impervious to extreme temperatures. And it says, thermal power plant, it's hot. Man, these catch lines here are not good. I'm sorry, uh, Altera. This is not working. It's not making me want to buy it, okay? The description of it is making me want to buy it, though. Another thermal plant fragment. Dude, I'm getting all of these recipes, and I'm building only a fraction of them. I wonder if I'm going through this game too fast. You know, should I be trying out all of these things when I discover them, or... I'm getting so many new recipes. And I'm... I feel like I'm not doing anything with them yet. I will, though, I promise. Oh, we already have thermal plant, right. Uh... Moon pool! Yo! Oh, yeah! What did you say? Biodiversity in this region is unusually low. Cause unknown. I mean, the reason for that are many. Or it could be many, but one of the reasons could be there's just an apex predator here that just kills everything. Except that their own species, right? Or... Or something else is going on. Maybe something hazardous or very volatile uh, is nearby that kills everything. Or maybe we're just that deep that we don't have that many animals here. Hmm. Unusually low, huh? Wait, was there, was there more in here? I feel like I missed something. I went a little bit quickly through that. There was a door, wasn't there? Cut open. Right. Nice. Okay. Let's cut this bastard. Dude, I love cutting open doors. <laughs> it's an amazing feeling. I don't know why, but it's just so good. Oh! Careful there. That was dangerous. Power cell charger fragment. Nice. What's that? Another power cell charger. Hold on, power cell. 30 seconds. Power cell charger. New blueprint acquired. Another one. Wait, I already have it. Oh fuck. Uh Oh, uh, shit. Where do I get out? There. Oh, shit. I'm fucked. Hold on. Go! Oh, fuck. I'm stupid. I have my boat. Run! Oh! Whoa! Is that a graphical glitch? I'm seeing land. I'm seeing land. Hold on. Uh save. I wish What is going on? It's like it's being Shrouded by clouds. Okay. I have to remember that. It's close to my... It's close to the proposed Degasi habitat at 500 meters. Let me note that. Hold on. 
uh, close to 500 meter Degasi habitat. An island? Okay. Also, this pen is running out of ink. I need to find something else to write with. Maybe this one? Oh yeah, beautiful. That works. I am such a dumbass. I had my little thing here. I completely forgot I came here in that. <laughs> but it's good to know this thing is actually uh, working. Although it didn't work all the way to the top. That's another thing to keep in mind. So, where was I? Power cell charger? Already have it. Here's another picture of this woman. I think she's a famous actor or person in this universe. Reinforced dive suit. Yo. Did I read something about the increased heat protection. That's what I want. Yeah. This suit is, is reinforced with synthetic fibers to reduce incoming physical and thermal damage. Shock absorption reduces physical impact velocity by approximately 50%. Rated for temperatures up to 70 degrees. Damn. Disclaimer, you are not invulnerable when wearing this suit. The reinforced dive suit. Why take chances when you can take Altera? Okay, see, that, that's a good catchphrase. I like that one. I give it a 7 out of 10. What's happening up here? A door? Okay. There's something over here as well. What do we got? Ooh, what is that? A big chunk of lead. Hold on. Time to cut again. What wonders will we find inside? Hmm. Oh yeah. Man, cutting these doors, one of the most satisfying things ever. What's that? Cyclops fire suppression system. Like, this is what I'm talking about. I'm getting all of these things here, and I don't even have a Cyclops yet. I feel like I'm going too fast through this. I need to build things. I need to build a Cyclops. Oh god. No! Okay. I thought I just soft locked myself. Saving. By the way, I'm starting to save a lot because of what happened earlier where my computer crashed and stuff. It hasn't crashed since. Since I fixed or replaced the power supply unit, so hopefully it's all good. Wait, is there really nothing here? There's a vent into nothing? Interesting. Okay, I think we've explored that. Um, what else do we have? Can I scan any of this? I need to observe, I need to investigate, appraise, check, monitor, and scrutinize. I need to do all of those things to everything I find. It's, it pleases me greatly. We've got three radios. It's a radio stack. <laughs> Seconds. Wait, did I did I get this one? I think I did. Prawn suit, torpedo arm. Okay, man. Let, let's uh, let's go to the proposed Degasi habitat. Uh, what was it? Here. Oh my God, it's deep. What the fuck is that? Yo, that's a vent. Aliens? This is a structure. Alien vent. What? These vents connect to an ancient piping network that extends beyond maximum scannable depth. The pumping system is still functional. The inflow vent is drawing water from the surrounding area and pumping it to an unknown location below the surface. 
warm deoxygenated water is being expelled into the atmosphere. Most creatures are avoiding the vents. Peepers can be observed entering and exiting the pipe network without signs of distress. Assessment further research required. What? There are... There's an intelligent species on this planet. Yeah, there's no oxygen, otherwise my suit would, uh... Absorb oxygen from... What is that? Oh my god, there's so many things here. Hold on! They're, they're sucking in water. To... To a depth. Out of scanning range, so meaning really deep. And it's releasing water again that's deoxygenated. Meaning the oxygen has been taken out. Meaning perhaps the aliens are using this water they're pumping in. Taking the oxygen out of it. Breathing that under... Maybe in an underground base. Maybe at the center of the planet. And then releasing deoxygenated water. But this does not seem smart though. At some point... There's no more oxygen, right? Eye stock? Hold on. Wow. Here's a question now, though. Are these aliens responsible for the Aurora crash? Look! Did you see the peeper go in? I don't think it went in by choice. It just got caught in the... In the thing, you know? Hold on. Hold on. Come here, you. You're going on a journey, my little buddy. I'm gonna call you... Hmm... Cindy. Cindy, you're going on a journey. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a peeper. Yo, this just blew my mind. Hold on. This means... Intelligent life. Shit. Hold on, there's something here as well. Eye stalk. That sounds nasty. Ugh, there's small eye everywhere. Eyes. A cave dwelling tuber dotted with luminescent photosensitive eyes. These eyes may in some way direct the twisted growth of the stems themselves, possibly in reaction to other light sources, proximity of cave walls or other environmental conditions. Weird. What's that? A gel sack. I kind of want to squish it. These organic structures grow on cave walls. The purple sacs which arise from the surface contain a low-density gel laced with spores. These burst from time to time, floating towards the surface and attaching onto the next rock face they encounter. While the gel sac is edible, its low density renders it an invaluable advanced construction material. Assessment edible aerogel construction applications! Oh my god! I didn't realize I could pick it up. I thought it was just one of those plants. Aerogel. What is this? Hold on. This is... <laughs> this is actually the thing I used on my uh, thumbnail. It's a time capsule. I found one of these already. My baby. To whomever discovers this, I leave this submarine. Treat her well as she was the key to my survival. Goodbye, planet. What? Wait a minute. What do you mean you leave this here? Oh cool, I can I have a history of all the time capsules I've collected.
Wait. Hold on. Did I pick this up just now from... From the time capsule? I don't have any memory of curing a spadefish. Only infecting it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, this definitely is new. I think I just picked this up from the time capsule. Cool. All right, then. Thank you. Hmm. Also, the, the this looks badass. This looks amazing. Oh, yeah, man. Your baby, huh? Let me save the game. Okay. Um, all right then. Fucking hell, alien vents, huh? I keep getting distracted. My, my plan was to go to, to the, the proposed Degasi habitat. I don't think I'm even in the right place, actually. Hold on. Uh, there. God, I'm disoriented. Nine power left. This is bad. How do I get down there? Oh, do I go through the vents somehow? No, that's stupid. Never mind. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. What is that? Power cell charger. Already got it. How do I recharge my Seamoth? I th okay, here's my theory. I think I need to build a moon pool. And then I need to... Uh, charge it in there somehow. Because I don't know how else to do it. Sandstone. Hold on. I need this. This is for aerogel, man. Gel sack. Creature eggs and eye stalks. Eye stalks are nasty. Cell power cell charger. Got it. Hold on now. Ooh. Ruby. Let me explore this. Let me tabulate you and index you. A hard blood red gemstone made of aluminum oxide. Rubies may be processed in order to leverage their structural integrity in advanced vehicle construction and modification. Assessment essential for advanced fabrication. Oh! Wow! Get, 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 get! Rude! This is infected. Look. Hold on, that reminds me. Uh, I kind of want to scan myself again. Uh, how did I do that? F. Self scan complete. Foreign bacteria counters reached statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. Okay. What symptoms, though? No adverse effects detected, though. So, n not too bad? I guess. Reginald! Weird name. I mean, for a fish. Just called Reginald. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. It's just called Reginald. A small herbivore and a distant relative of the common peeper. Sharing that species' well-developed side-phasing eyes, approximate size, and body profile. Its coloration, dull green coloration for deep water camouflage. Luminescent tail coloration, likely part of mating behavior. Okay. It has a diet. Filters algae and other plant material from the water via four gill-like forward-phasing orifices. Orifices? I don't know how to say that. Assessment, edible. High calorie count. Reginald, you're coming with me. We're gonna have lots of fun, you and I. Oh my god, there are Reginalds everywhere. My god, this is the place, huh? To eat, Reginalds. Okay. Um, Maximum depth reached. Ooh. Hull damage imminent. Right, we're almost at 300. Oh god, look at this! Oh, I don't like this! Stop it! Who is doing that? You! You little fucker! Look at these things! Oh my god! 
Okay. In fact, in the next episode, I'm gonna explore this cave. And I'm gonna fuck up this guy right here. Ow! Ow! See you in the next episode. Goodbye.